see that bullshit advertising right there? Overspent. Waste of taxpayers' money. Anyway, hey guys, Alex here on a overcast Thursday afternoon here in my city of Toronto, Canada, here on Greenwood Avenue, just north of Queen Street East here. I think we're either in the Leslieville district or the Upper Beaches neighborhood. Look at that amazing uh, camper and the Hudson's Bay colors. I have never seen that before. So what a way to start off this video here. And there goes by a Flex the Outlook streetcar, Route 501. Yeah, so this is the eastern end of the city. And uh, gonna do a little walking video of Greenwood Avenue. I thought of doing Jones Avenue. I mean, Jones is much more interesting than this, but the reason why I wanted to film this video is because I wanted to walk past Greenwood Yard and I just filmed a ride on that bus right over there, Route 31. Took it from Coxwell Station. And not Greenwood because they're installing elevators at the station requiring the closure of the uh, bus terminal there. Greenwood is uh, predominantly residential, but looking out the window as I was filming my ride just now, there's amazing skyline views. Look at this. Chocolate bear cookies. Is this like a Scouts or something? Interesting. Yeah, the east end of the city has some very interesting uh, homes. Of course, most of them you see here are semi-detached. And uh, yeah, today's the last Thursday of 2022. It is December the 29th. So we're two days away from the end of the year, New Year's Eve. But if you want to play it that way, it is three days until the start of a brand new year and my god has this year gone by so freaking fast a lot of ups and downs and uh <laughs> lots to look back on i just saw a squirrel here it's my first squirrel sign of the day but uh he has vanished where'd he go i couldn't i don't think i should assume all squirrels are here oh look hello there boy hello there hi Wow, that's a good shot right there. Let's grab a picture of that on my phone before he jumps off. Oh. <laughs> He's just looking at me right there. That's cute. And yes, it is warm outside. As you guys can see, I am wearing a spring jacket, eight Celsius. I want to get to what that is in Fahrenheit later on, but uh, you know, this past weekend, Christmas, and even before that, it was like, we were in the negative zone for like several days, and this is climate change here in southern Ontario, especially, you know, right here in uh, Toronto, and here's another squirrel just minding his own business. I gotta say, we should be called the black squirrel capital of the world. We're infested with them, probably like, Probably like more than the, the raccoons we often have here. I think I'm gonna stay on the uh, on this side, the west side of Greenwood, for probably in the entirety of this uh, video here. And again, I, I wanted to uh, walk past the uh, Greenwood subway yard, which will be on my left hand side, so I wanna stay on this side. And most of these homes probably date back to like the early uh, 20th century. Yet the east end of the old city of Toronto really has some interesting homes. Would I live here? I wouldn't mind. It's not a uh, long bus ride to get to uh, the Danforth Avenue and the uh, subway line, the Blur Danforth. Let's cross here quickly. as we're coming up to Dundas Street East. It's crazy how this part of Dundas, you know, it's, there's like not a lot of commercial activity. So it's mostly residential. Then later on, it just enters the, the, the core where, where you'll find Young Dundas Square where I was just at half an hour ago. It took kind of long to get here because uh, we held at Broadview Station for a couple of minutes because uh, 
there was a mechanical issue on board a train at Coxwell, and then we just went slow for the rest of the ride. Yeah, but much of the snow has melted here. I think the rain uh, overnight has uh, washed most of it away. Probably not in Niagara. When I was in Niagara Falls on Tuesday, there was a lot of snow. And that was probably, and this is bef this is because of the, because uh, uh, nearby New York State, like Niagara Falls, uh, Buffalo, Erie County, there were a batter of 70 centimeters of snow as we get a good shot of the CN Tower with the Financial District skyscrapers right there. I didn't know you get such a view here. What park is this though? I know there's another friggin' uh, overspent TTC out there. Take the pump, like leave the pumps, take the TTC. Well, you're still, you're still wasting taxpayers money and not even using that to invest in like new essential services and stuff, bullshit. I've been hating on that since uh, I've started seeing them. And of course, as I mentioned two months ago, it was, in my, it was with my dad, we were on the highway, we were listening to Boom 97.3, and they had a fucking TTC ad on the radio. Got the door chimes and stuff, bullshit, man. Uh, anyway. Here's another look. Okay, a much better look though. Yeah, and uh, you got look one blur east in the distance, of course. What park is this? Did I miss the sign here? I swear to God. I said he really should be. You know, this is a major street. You think they would add a name for this park here? I'm gonna go on Google Maps anyway. Oh, Greenwood Park. Okay. I should have known. And, uh... I did just say that, um... It's 8 Celsius. That is... What is that? Fahrenheit? You may ask. That is 46 Fahrenheit. There's a lot of you Americans that watch my videos, so I've got to explain it. There's the same bus I was on. 8603. I think it's a 2016 LFS. I don't know. Yeah, look at this. I mean, there's a skating rink right there. But really, this, this really definitely feels like it's March or something. It's still the beginning of winter. Like, we should be seeing a lot of snow on the ground. Like, like, like in Niagara. I keep having to stop here though because I'm getting much better shots of this. Look, you can even see Scotia Plaza. I don't want to zoom in further because there's, the zoom has been pissing me off lately as it's clicking once again. Because it just malfunctions the camera so it just requires me to turn it off and then turn it back on so... That's just kind of... Look! The branches are out of my view. I can't, I just can't resist man. Obviously it's an icon of the city as I hear some sirens on Dundas. That's an ambulance right there, but ain't zooming in. There's some small sized businesses up ahead as we're coming up to Gerard Street. I think we're in the, the Little India district if I'm not mistaken. I think for sure we're in Leslieville. As it's now 2.56 p.m. coming up to afternoon rush hour. Yeah, we are in Leslieville. I filmed a walking video here along Gerard two months ago. So I was heading uh, west. Gerard is one of many streets. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Depicting the old vintage PCC streetcar. For those that grew up in like older generation guys from Toronto. Obviously, it wasn't around at that time, but it's a historical figure, and I have, I've also been on and off for uh, many other purposes as well. I'm concerned about these kids. You know how kids are these days, man. I hope they veer off the street here. Huh, ah, they're just gonna hang around here at this. Uh, let me see if I could make this like quickly. There we go. Those are coming up to the Pizza Pizza. It's a Pakistani and uh, Indian restaurant on the right. I have to wait for the 
stupid light. That means I gotta like cut. I don't really like to edit, but uh, let me just want to like cut, like cut out some parts. Okay, well I'm used to the editing, but you know, shouldn't be long until we get to uh, the Danforth, and I think I'll just walk my butt over to Greenwood Station, and then I don't know where I'm gonna go from there. I feel like filming another walking video, probably around the Plater Estates neighborhood. Yeah, much, a lot of parts of this part of the town, very, very quiet. Cannot, oh, look at this. It's probably closed for the entire holidays, looks like. Really interesting, as I've been mentioning, it's, it's kind of crazy and overwhelming how you know, not only that I have like, what, over 1,200 subscribers, but I seem to be like well known around the city. Cause you know, I'm like one of like many, many other people. Even like people that are just starting, like doing live streams and just and uh, walking videos, you know, exploring and stuff. Now I can never look back. The, the amount of support is just amazing. And uh, like words not describe the the the, the shadows given by the other many YouTubers who are just plugging plugging each other's channels, mainly here in Toronto and on elsewhere in Ontario. So I really appreciate that. As I will always, as a young guy, will always share my passion for the largest, and most diverse city here in the world, and well, pretty much in Canada, but. Just very, just proud of the support and that, you know, we live, I live in a big city, you know, if I lived in like Hamilton, Niagara Falls, or even friggin' Barrie, I would just bug myself to like spend like thousands of dollars just to come down to Toronto f to film. Or if I was just limited, I'd be doing like walking videos around Barrie or whatever city, or even like a small town like where my cousin Emily lives, I wouldn't get much views. So thank God I live here. And even though the city has seen a lot of changes, you know, especially because of COVID and uh, government's stuff and all that shit, um, I don't see myself moving out. Actually, one thing to consider is, you know, you know, the, the out of control cost of living is going up and up and up. Same thing with like, it's, it's, it's unaffordable to own a home these days and rent. I think it gives me probably guess who, who I do live with but because you know considering that I used to have two homes but it's kind of crazy though unfortunately though times have changed even as my even as both my parents said to me respectively everything is just expensive these days like gas and Minus owning a home, because that's like the most important thing, but owning a, a vehicle like any, a lot of you guys have, and just getting groceries and stuff, all freaking changed. As we're coming out to the rail corridor, that's, that would be the Lakeshore East and Soville commuter rail lines operated by Go Transit. And we're ready for that. We'll be walking right next to the TTC's Greenwood Subway Yard. Yes, that is the main subway facility for Line 2 Bloor Danforth. Saw a bunch of uh, Park T1 uh, trains there. But also, a fun fact Greenwood Yard is where they actually did some important uh, maintenance on the uh, RT vehicles on Line 3 Scarborough because McCowan Yard couldn't really handle a lot of capacity for that. Well, at least to like to, to like repair and stuff, so they had to uh, transfer to Greenwood as my voice is echoing. It's the most one I can't sing. What the fuck? I was going to do that, but nah. That's embarrassing. So we're out of Leslieville now. I don't even know what neighborhood we're in now. I don't. I don't care. 
Maybe we might be in East Riverdale. Who knows? And here it is. Well, we're going to see most of it once we uh, walk uphill. I think this used to, I think we, I think decades ago before Greenwood was even built, this was like a coal mine or something. I could be wrong, but it was definitely like, it definitely had industrial activity. And of course, you know, the subway opened in 1966. Oh, go train! Commuter rail! I knew I would catch one of these. I'm so glad I did. I have not walked past here on foot in a really long time. This is the gate. Everyone going into their shifts. By the way, yes, I have been here before. Inside too. It was in 2015, they had, uh, you know, every spring they have doors open in Toronto where they open up private facilities up to the public. And in 2015, Greenwood was one of them. I remember riding on a T1 which circled around the Greenwood yard and into the tunnels where they connect to the main line too. I think a long time ago I had a video in mind to just walk around the perimeter of the yard. Because there's also some good views from the north end. Maybe I'll give that a visit for like my random clips, who knows. Is this another shot of the CN Tower? This is Guy's Muffler loud or what? Jesus. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna zoom in all the way here. But I gotta be careful when I'm zooming out now. Careful. I don't know why it's doing this again, but. Yep, it did it again. Okay, this zoom is a pain in the ass. It took me 30 seconds to get it working again. At least the footage is safe, but. This is the second time it's been having this problem. I got it fixed like last month. It's happening again. And the zoom is like the most important part of the camera. You know, I got to uh, zoom in on one of the most interesting aspects, you know, of the city. And everything's I see. Yeah, I really like how you got the uh, the skyline in the distance. I can see Danforth Avenue up in the distance. Uh, at least I think that is. Because I did walk another hell of a, let's say what, two and a half kilometers? Yeah, maybe I'll just take it up to Danforth and I'll probably film a few random highlights for the compilation I'm still working on. I already got a lot of clips because I filmed a lot yesterday, so. Man, this place is huge. I did walk by the, well, near the uh, McCowan yard on Ellesmere Road. 
And I could walk by the Wilson Yard, but there are no public roads uh, or sidewalks even near near it. I know I know there's like Transit Road, which runs parallel, but there's no sidewalks there, so it's not really the best thing to do. Yes, sir. It's it is Danforth Avenue. Here's Oakville Avenue. I'm gonna have to head back down here if I want to grab more shots. Well, I've never really been there before. I know a lot of my viewers have, but yeah. And Greenwood Subway Station is a four-minute walk from here. And fun fact. Greenwood Station is actually not on Greenwood Avenue. The main entrance is on Lindsmore Crescent, which is a block east of here. No, no, for me, I won't be right not sure why they did that in 1966, but uh, it's kind of weird. Well, maybe it was because you know it had to build it had to build the subway like a block north of Danforth, underneath working class homes on the borders of Old Toronto and East York. Well, it's been a long way, so... And now my camera's at two bars again, so after, I'm gonna probably charge it for a bit. And then I'll think of, uh, where to go next. I don't know, it's still quite early, even though it's already the uh, rush hour. I mean, people will be heading home. Actually, at least half of the city, because, you know, it's still the holiday season, everybody's still getting their break, and I get another break, too, because, you know, I don't go back to school until the 9th, so less than two weeks from now. Though, my friends also answer my text about if, if we can hang it or not, though, I highly doubt it. And we made it! So if you want to go to the subway station, fortunately there's not a lot of uh, indications to, to where the uh, um, the subway is, but yeah, you gotta go one block to the east, and then you'll, and I guess you'll find it. And there's a good look, heading west along the Danforth. Actually the BIA is called the Danny, but nobody ever calls that shit. It's just a stupid name. And there's a hostel sign right there. That's because the, uh, the uh, Easter General, or Michael Guerin Hostel, where my cousin Emily was born, it's not too far from here. You just gotta make a left on Coxall Avenue, then you'll find it up, up the streets. But guys, that's gonna be it for this one. I wanna like, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and already as always, stay tuned for more videos, and check out my others as well. Enjoy your last few days of 2022, and uh, looking forward to bring more con to bring you guys a lot more walking videos in the new year so uh stay tuned take care happy holidays and of course most importantly happy new year peace out